So the Cheshire Cat is one of the most important characters of the book. Um, when you think about Alice in Wonderland, one of the first things you think of is the Cheshire Cat because it, it's such a strange creature. It, uh, it's a cat that appears in the sky, in trees, has a, has a, has a great grin and uh, can, can make itself disappear uh, except for the smile. And the Cheshire Cat is also really, really important in the book because of three reasons. It teaches us some uh, moral lessons. It, um, it keeps Alice from going insane and it gives us another moral lesson. Well, the first moral lesson it teaches us is that everyone is mad. Not, no one is normal. Um, when Alice, uh, when Alice gets away from the, when Alice has the pig in her hand and uh, releases it, she she comes upon um, a cat that's in a tree with a, uh, with a grin, and she talks to him. So they have a conversation, and he tells her, "Everyone here is mad, and you are mad too." Except, uh, or you wouldn't have come. You wouldn't have uh, come here. So it teaches us that the, that everyone is mad and no one is normal. The second thing, uh, the second reason why the Cheshire Cat is the most important is because it it's the only thing that keeps Alice from going insane in this whole insane Wonderland. Um, Alice doesn't go insane. And why? Because, because she, ha she has at least one, one character she can have a normal conversation with, the Cheshire Cat. With, the other, with all the other creatures, it's all misunderstanding, miscommunication. It's all, what, uh, what do you mean? And with the Cheshire Cat, she can have except like a normal conversation. Um, it's also uh, like a kind of a parental figure for Alice, because uh, he teaches her how to uh, how to communicate, how to um, find her way in Wonderland. And uh, Alice also acknowledges that, that by by saying when when she looks, she actually looks forward. She actually looks forward to seeing the Cheshire Cat because. Um, when she sees him appear in the sky, she says, oh, she thinks, she says to herself, oh, now it's the Cheshire Cat. Now I shall have somebody to talk to. So uh, the Cheshire Cat is a parental figure. And another thing that the Cheshire Cat teaches us is, um, what, what was it again? I, for I forgot it, but I think this is enough. Yep. So that's the reason why the Cheshire Cat is the most important character because of um, because she's the because it's the only thing that keeps Alice from going insane because of um, uh, the lesson that no one is normal and because of because uh, the Cheshire Cat is the the parental figure.